In this section of the tutorial, we'll change the user interface a little and then demonstrate using the new preview mode to test the changes. Preview mode is a new feature in XCP 2.1 Designer. It allows you to preview the application in a browser, avoiding the need to the lengthy deployment of the application each time prior to testing. XCP 2.1 Designer and higher comes with an internal embedded app server for use by preview mode and debugging. Preview mode requires a configuration of a design time environment in the preferences. In the last step, we saw that when there was no value for the last policy, the page fragment was automatically hidden. However, the edit last policy button was not hidden. In this exercise, we'll update the behavior of the button widget to implement this. You should know that before testing with preview mode, you need to clear the browser cache so that the last policy cookie is deleted. It's a good idea to run your browser in private or incognito mode when testing your application so that you don't have to keep clearing the browser cache. Preview mode by selecting the Start Preview Mode option from the Preview Mode toolbar drop-down. If Preview Mode is not already enabled, just clicking on the button invokes the Start Preview Mode option. Wait for the console log to show that the embedded Jetty application server is ready. Now, start the test run of the application in the browser by either selecting the preview mode button or by dropping it down and selecting preview in browser. It may take some time to start to initialize some of the services in the app server. When preview mode is enabled or started, clicking the button without using the choices in the drop down invokes the preview in browser menu item. In our tutorial environment, this will run the application in the embedded Jetty web application server on port 8888. Preview mode uses the copy of the application component stored under the XCP Designer Applications Application Default Project Target Directory. It's the target directory that we want to focus on here. When it's ready, it will launch the XCP application in the default browser on the Jetty application server, the one configured for port 8888. When the application's login page appears, notice the URL in the browser. HTTP, localhost, and then 8888, that's the port number, concordant insurance, sign in, .jsp, with Webby. That's our embedded application server. It's a good idea to save a shortcut to this URL so you can test without having to be running XCP Designer at the time. Log in as DM admin and training. So here's the policy search home page again. Notice that the last policy page fragment is currently hidden, but the edit last policy button is not hidden. So let's go back to XCP Designer. In the XCP Navigator, select the User Interface tab. Then in the Application UI node, open the policy search page. Scroll the layout page to the left so you can see the Edit Last Policy button on the right and select it. In the Properties button pane at the bottom, select the Behavior tab. For the Hidden When expression, click the Expression Wizard button. Then in the top pane, navigate to and select Session Parameters, CIA. In the bottom pane, select Last Policy ID then click OK. Finish the conditional expression by adding equal equal single quote single quote. That's two single quotes not one double quote. Save the configuration changes. Now back in the browser clear the browser cache. Then refresh the browser. If you're running in incognito mode, relaunching using the Preview and Browser button will launch the browser with the cleared cache. Log back in. Notice that, since the cookie is empty, this time the Edit Last Policy button is hidden. Let's see what happens if we edit a policy. Right-click Peter Smith and select Edit Policy. 
change the coverage amount, and save. Notice how the Edit Last Policy button reappears when the cookie has a value, but that it was hidden when it didn't have a value. This proves that our configuration is working as designed. Let's close the browser window and go back into XCP Designer. Close the Policy Search Application page. This concludes the demonstration of XCP Designer Preview Mode. So, for the remainder of this tutorial, you can use Preview Mode to preview and test any changes to expressions, session variables, or UI configurations and UI events. Remember that you can only view them in the Preview Mode when the browser cache is cleared. Preview Mode only covers UI level changes. Anything that requires repository representation, such as business objects, must be deployed first. After they're deployed to the repository, you can use Preview Mode to test them. You're going to find that this is a huge time saver for application developers.